Hello and welcome to this CS50 final project which is a shopping cart type system uh, called ET cart. My name is Patrick. Uh, I'm from Minnesota. It's in Invergrove Heights in the United States. Basically this cart isn't fully complete but it does have the idea of registering a store, logging into the store, creating projects, and uh, being able to add those to the cart for checkout and so forth. Similar to the finance program, this is partly built upon some of that, is we have the ability to register a new store account. Pick a password, and we're able to register the store. From here, we're going to be able to modify the store settings. We could add owner name, support, email, and so forth. In case, in this case, there's a little JavaScript example of validating a field. We're going to show an example of creating a new product quickly. We can give it a name. Later, you can actually upload a file. And here we're adding a chair. And we'll give it a price of $1.99 and add a product. From here, we can edit the project, the product, ch changing any items we want, we can remove it, and then finally we can look at a store, which gives you an example of how we could add that to the cart. The cart is a nice way to summarize that. We can add to quantity, remove from quantity, delete the item from the cart, continue shopping, adds it back to the cart, and we can always continue to check out. Now I'm going to show you a store with a few more items. This was designed with the idea that you could create a store without logging in as a store owner. So as you see here, this URL contains a store ID and there's no login or register links. You can directly add items to the cart. We'll add a few to the cart. We'll go back to shopping, pick a different item. We can add these to the cart again. And then what we're going to do, because we have multiple items, it's showing us five items in the cart because we have three and two. Proceed to checkout, at which point we have a summary we build out this information. This actually has some bootstrap validation here requiring certain fields. And we're going to continue on to complete the order. This is a nice drop down with valid countries we ship to. And now it creates the order. And we're going to log into the user account we used to create the store. And now we see that store again. We've added products from that point, but we're going to look at orders. This is the order we just took. As you can see, there's multiple items uh, for this customer order.